Well, hello again from Kingston. Not the warmest of days, and you can see we've had a bit of snow. It gives a whole new meaning to the term cold steel when you think what the iron workers are having to do as they work with reinforcing rod. There's that and more this week. Thanks for watching. Ample warnings were given last weekend of an impending snowstorm and the forecast proved to be entirely accurate. It's unclear just how much fell, but it likely broke the record for this day in January and certainly was in the top 10% of all time. Opportunities for substantial work were limited and most activity involved clearing roads and spaces. Tuesday dawned bright and clear and cold. Giving the crew a chance to clear up using every means. including snow blowers and simple shovels. While clearance continued, work was already underway. There was a clear sense of purpose and a determination to progress. Tuesday night and Wednesday morning brought more snow and demanded measures to counter its effect. It also saw the arrival of another load of reinforcing rod, which had to be unloaded. A visit to the West End on Wednesday afternoon revealed that the second bridge buggy had joined its companion on the second span of the bridge. With some final adjustments, it would soon become a second base from which to work on the removal of walkways and brackets. A second bright, clear day this week, on Thursday, saw more snow clearance and the iron workers returned to the east abutment. It's commonplace on site to see project engineers conducting checks and measurements of work done or to be done. Meanwhile, a bald eagle flew over the steel span, ignoring the removal of snow tarps. A team from Martin's Welding was seen refining welds on the fence posts on Gore Road. At the bottom of Gore Road, the iron workers of ABF continued their work undaunted. Their persistence in working with cold steel in freezing temperatures has to be admired. And they are making steady, dependable progress. The week ended quietly, with Coco Paving removing snow and ice from the junction of Gore Road and Highway 15. And so, to wildlife. Everything you see was spotted within sight of the third crossing. 